Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, the book is, is definitely changing the lives of many people. You know, you can, people can go online and you can uh, search Takiya Diamond Minds Up and you will see reviews. Yeah, I, they were. They were in, um, what is it? Um, source of knowledge. What is it? Source of knowledge. Yeah, source of knowledge. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. And that's the exact way that, that I wrote. You know, I wrote the book. Yeah, in, the, yeah, in the experience. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys no more drama since I promised it to you. <laughs> All right, and then this will be the last one. We'll do some Q and A. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He like, I gotta stay for this one. No okay. more drama. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. She died. <laughs> okay. So this chapter's called No More Drama. We get sick of. How many y'all sick of the drama? Uh huh. <laughs> just tired. <laughs> just tired. All right. So no hot queen. <laughs> so no more drama. Whose man is it? Who is she or he out keeping with? Who's gossiping about you but smiling in your face? Gossiping to you about the other person who told them they were talking about you? Who's jealous of whom? Who's gay, straight, bi, in competition, better, worse? Gosh, the headaches of she said, he said, your mother said. Drama. Just plain old drama. Your useful energy turned useless, shattered, scattered, and all over the place to where you can't even think straight. Instead of controlling the drama, you allow the drama to control and consume you. Mine's up. <laughs> now, if there's one thing that I can't stand, it's drama. And I quickly mastered how to get rid of it. To God be the glory. <laughs> it is no longer, a, no longer a part of my life nor my story. Why? Because I chose not to allow it. Once I learned what it was causing and how to eliminate it. Now, I'm going to share with you why you attract drama and how to get rid of it from your life. Let's face it, some people need attention, and as long as they're not getting it, they will figure out a way to get the attention that they seek. They make up rumors, fabricate lies, and more so that you can show them, show them the attention or to get others to pay attention to them. They pop up at your house, block their number when calling your phone, and all kinds of things to bring you the drama they seek to deliver. You do everything you can to stay away from these people and you just can't understand why they keep showing up in your life's experience. Until you get rid of what's causing it, they will always be in your life some way. There will always be certain situations where someone mentions their name or you'll bump into them on the street. They are the ones that can't seem to get their life together because they're more concerned with yours. If you find yourself surrounded by these type of people, the truth is that there is something within you that is a reflection of them and it's what's keeping them around. In order to bypass this, you have to eliminate that part of them which is in you. And if you are bitter every time you think of them, you bring other bitter situations to you. Change to wishing them the best and pray for them that they can one day release whatever it is that they feel about you. But don't worry about what they feel. They are creating their own experience with their thoughts about you as well. One of the easiest ways to create drama is ignoring somebody's call or text message. By not responding, you just gave them an opportunity to put a thought out there about you that may be good or bad. I mean, all it takes is a call or a text back saying, I can't talk right now, but I'll get back to you shortly. Very easy, isn't it? It's even healthier on your conscience. This prevents them from thinking out of the box about you because by ignoring them, their thoughts are helping to create something in your new experience that you never chose. But that's just how it goes. If you don't keep, I'm sorry, if you don't help keep things smooth sailing, do unto others as you would have done unto you. It's a boomerang. It may not even be from the person that's annoying you, though you can bet your bottom dollar they're sure on the way to you until you take them out of your head and send them blessings. Wish them well. Mentally send them love every day until you forget about them completely. That's when they'll disappear. Recognize that it was just an experience that you had with that person. I mean, recognize that you can choose to experience something else at any given moment and you 
must forgive them inside for things to be better on the outside. They know not what they do. They are not awakened to understand what's going on and how they are disturbing their own peace. A thought is just a thought. A belief is just a thought that you keep thinking. Your mind is a separate thing from your thoughts. You let thoughts in and you can also push them out. Whenever a negative thought comes in, acknowledge what you feel about this thought. Thinking for appearing is just because your higher self is showing you the things that you don't need in your life. Cut the cords. Ask yourself, how does this thought make me feel? And if it makes you feel angry, it's because you chose to become angry about it instead of just accepting the experience and remaining in control of the final outcome within you. Choose to no longer experience that and replace that thought with what you want to see show up in your life. And if it's without that person, then start visualizing how great your life is now that they're gone. Erase and replace. Think of someone that really makes you feel good about yourself. Think of something that you want to experience, such as getting a raise or pursuing your dreams. Even if you want to see yourself winning a huge surprise sweepstakes and how different your life is now as a millionaire. Visualize any scenario that will change the vibration that you're on right now because the one you're entertaining at this moment isn't helping you, it's hurting you. Don't allow these thoughts to control you. You must control them. If you think of how negative the person is, you will just attract replicas of people just like them. Envision them being humble, but still not in your life. Ask your higher self if you want to believe what just happened in your mind because you chose to experience that. What you think is what becomes. So if you can change your mind, you change your life. Now in the case of needy people, one of the best techniques is simply to imagine them no longer a part of your experience. Imagine putting them in a big bubble and just visualize them floating off into the sky, going higher and higher until you don't even see them anymore. Say to the universe, I delete this person from my life. I delete this experience and I'm choosing to experience something better. Now focus on what it is that you do want in your life. Fill yourself in joy, happiness, and peace. Relaxing with people who are also peacefully, happily, happy, and filled with constant joy. You must feel the emotion of it. And if you do this every day with all of your life issues, the bad ones will disappear. The good ones will show up in your reality, which will cause your life to be transitioned into the life that you desire. Now, if you're tired of the drama, it's time that you stop creating it. Take it out of your mind and just be done with it. A thought is just a thought. Always remember, the person is not your problem. You are your problem, and that's the real reason why they won't go away. Mental clearing and deleting that experience from your subconscious mind is the only way to change your life's outcome. It works, and it is work, but it's very much worth it when things change and all you're surrounded by is happiness and abundance. Then you can finally say, and mean it when you say, no more drama.